From a paleontological perspective, South Africa is particularly noted for the rocks of the Karoo Supergroup, which cover a large part of the country. See, here's the shoreline coming around here, and this is the Karoo Supergroup that covers two-thirds of South Africa. The oldest rocks of the Karoo are 300 million years old, and the youngest rocks are 180 million years, which means that it covers a period of 120 million years. And what is exciting about the Karoo is it's literally packed with fossils. There are lots of fossils of different types of animals, to such an extent that we've been able to plot the distribution of these animals on the map into this what is called a biozone map. And these different colors here represent different zones of different types of animals that lived in the past. Now the purpose of this project is to explore this yellow biozone down here, which is the oldest biozone in the Beaufort group. Those rocks are about 260 to 270 million years old, and they contain the oldest land-living animals in the southern hemisphere, the oldest land-living reptiles. And those animals include the ancestors of mammals, the ancestors of dinos distant ancestors of dinosaurs, and the ancestors of tortoises. And so here's an example of one of these animals, the ancestors of mammals. You could see his very large nose there, the eye, beautifully preserved teeth, and the back of the skull. And behind me here is the complete skeleton of this animal. He would have been about three meters long and weighed about a ton. Probably one of the largest land-living and earliest land-living animals ever to have evolved uh, in the world. And he would have looked something like this. This type of animal is a new species called Tapinocaninus. So this project is to go and explore ro rocks from the base of the Beaufort group, base of the Karoo in South Africa, rocks that look like this, and to see where we can find the oldest land-living reptiles in South Africa. So we are seeking funding to explore this part of the basin, to look for fossils down here, see what we can find, and also to look for volcanic ashes which we can date. We've been successful in getting some very good dates which have been dated by MIT in the United States. And uh, the prospects are that we'll find many more. And this, the advantage of this is that we can then date uh, rocks of the same age in other parts of the world um, which have the same types of animals in them. So we wanted to explore these, this area for these animals. And also what is important about these rocks uh, is that they've demonstrated to us uh, that there was an 80% extinction of animals at 260 million years ago. That is approaching what is uh, the biggest extinction event of all times, which is the Perma-Triassic extinction at 252 million years. So this creates a whole new avenue of research, and the best record of that extinction is in South Africa.